Why is it that we guitarists always write 50 million different riffs but never actually finish them into a full song? Well, today we're gonna absolutely change that and we are gonna start out with song structure. Let's do it. Okay, so I have the riff ready. So I'm gonna write riff. But the riff is probably gonna be on the second spot. We're gonna have a really short but effective intro, I hope effective. On the third spot there's the verse, it's a lead guitar. Oh my god, that looks terrible. It, <laughs> well, uh, if anyone can read this, I don't know, I will write a riff for you. <laughs> so, the riff is rhythm and those two parts are actually done. Fourth, it's gonna be the bridge and then it's gonna lead to back to the riff, back to the riff and uh, this one's gonna have some little changes, we're gonna see which and then what about if I add like a huge lead guitar focused last part? That's gonna end the song. Oh my god. Okay, that's our song structure. Okay, I'm feeling the pump, the like, oh my god, it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be epic, it's gonna sound huge. But I have to remember not to stray away too far from the first riff idea. Either I have to keep the chords in or some kind of a musical idea that connects those parts together so we don't stray away too far from that. If we do, then we're gonna throw it away like this empty pack of elixir strings, which was here for like two months by the way. <laughs> okay, we'll start out with the bridge. Okay, as you can see here, after the bridge, we're gonna have the riff again, yeah, riff, and little change, the little change is gonna be in the production, which we're gonna do later, so right now I'm just gonna copy and paste it and hope it works. <laughs> what the f*** has happened with that? Oh, yeah, huh, <laughs> Oh sh Yeah. Alrighty, let's do the drums and bass on that. Yeah, okay, so over here, I'm gonna delay the bridge by eighth, eighth notes and I'm gonna put the panning thing where I'm gonna elongate the guitar part by eighth, eighth notes. So for four eighth notes, it's gonna go to this left speaker. For four eighth notes, it's gonna go to this right speaker and then it's gonna go to the normal bridge. Let me do it. Okay, scissor, boom, right here. Okay, and I need to put on EQ automations on there. The EQ automation is gonna be sick. I'm gonna put it so it's on the same spot over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's better. Important thing alert! Every 15 seconds there must be kind of a change, so the song is 
kind of interesting so keep that in mind when constructing and writing your own songs that every 15 seconds there should be some kind of a change maybe introduce a new instrument maybe do something different on your guitar or drums yeah every 15 seconds is a great rule of thumb Okay guys, I've been at this for like three hours now and my mind is feeling kinda exhausted but we gotta keep at it. We're probably like halfway through but I don't think even there. Yeah, we're like quarter way, quarter of the way through. Yeah, let's keep going at it. Okay, my second number one tip is to take breaks. Drink water, breathe air, do not think about it for like 5 minutes and then your mind is refreshed and you can get straight back to recording and writing. It's amazing, it does so much. Okay, right now we're gonna do the huge last part. For the rhythm guitar, some nice chugging, changing the power chords or chords, I don't know, well decide on that when the chord progression changes, but probably ending with a hope chord. I'm gonna explain what that is in a second. And a lead guitar that's tremolo picking and some fast alternate picking. Yeah, let's do it. I'm so excited. Okay, so the hope chord exactly is this. Okay, the hope chord is a major sixth chord and it's the last chord in this song and it signalizes that there might be a happy ending, but who knows? Yeah, that's the hope chord. Now that we've got it roughly done, we're gonna do the production and transitional elements. Yeah, we'll start out with the synth. Yeah, that added so much. I think I'm gonna add some strings. Okay, so I added a fade in to the strings. So a volume automation. Then I've said that in the riff, there's gonna be a little change. And the little change is that we have strings going on over there. And the last measure of the riff is gonna have different drums because we want to have a better lead in into the next huge part. So overall, this sounds not so great. I need to add the transitional elements. Let's do it. First up, hits. For that, I need to duplicate these layers. 
Impact 2. SFX. Hit SFX. Yeah, that's it. Over here I want a hit too. Okay. And we need to have the And we need to have the risers leading into that. Over here, we need the explosion too. Okay, the transitional elements are done, but I wanna get back to the production because of the 15 second rule, I need to add a aggressive synth over here. It's gonna sound amazing. We don't need it over here. <laughs> okay, that added so much again. Okay, I'm gonna take a break until next day and I'm gonna listen to it and we'll see. F you. I hate flies. We're gonna see what I like, what I don't like. I need to refresh my ears. Yeah, let's get to the next day. <laughs> Okay guys, this is Sunday morning, I'm starting to edit the video before actually listening to it and doing the whole music thing. I wanted to get some work done and over here... It's me... Doing this. And... Are we getting the same idea? I hope so. I hope so. Because I want to cook with this. I need to implement this into the song. That's gonna be a transitional element. <laughs> only you, only you're gonna know about this. Only you guys. I have a few notes about this, so I'm gonna write them on the paper again. Yeah, let's do it. Wait, do you f see that? Do you guys see that? I need to add distortion to the final riser so we have some different textures in that so we don't have the same goddamn risers look at that look at that it's the same goddamn riser each goddamn time we need to fix that okay that's the first thing camera focus focus yeah, great. Okay, the second one is actually a minor sec... Oh, shoot. I did it like it's a major second. Uh, so a minor second long ambient string. We'll see if a string or a different instrument will do that riser riser that goes from the bridge to the riff. Thirdly, productional changes for guitar layers. The huge last part is meant to be f huge and without guitar layers it's not possible. So, and for the fifth, I want cymbal chokes in the 16th triplet part in the last huge part. Again, if someone of you can read anything from this, I'm gonna write you a riff. Comment which you want and I will write it. If you can read it. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's get to it. Let's start with number one and that's the distorted final riser. Okay, we're gonna do it out of the synth that's in the last part, which you might have already guessed. Uh, which you might have already guessed. We're gonna have to do some pitch bending with it. We are going to do one beautiful thing. Insert auto pan, automate the rate, so it goes up. Oh my god, we need to automate this size. Yeah, that's so sick. Okay, now we're gonna do the minor second long ambient riser. Okay, so the riser sounds like this. Pretty cool in my opinion. Now some production changes. So over here in this last riff and the last huge part, I changed the choirs and the paddy strings or paddy synths, I think, into this. Which is a sound I used earlier in the verse, but I didn't use it for chords. I used it for this sound, the song evolved. As you can see, very different. Very different. It adds so much. Now guitar layering. Now for the symbol chokes on the 16th triple at Chugging. Okay guys, listen to this. So much better with the chokes. Now add the Škitnutí over here is how it's in English. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay, guys, let's export it. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if we'll like, if really we're gonna do something with it. Let me cook. Okay, I used this škitnutí as a reverse reverb effect for the snare. And in the whole mix it adds a lot of anticipation for the snare and it's only in this huge last part and I think it again added something to the last part which is meant to be huge which it's like halfway now one thing I forgot yesterday and forgot also today is we gotta like embellish the intro right now it's only the guitar Let's do it. Okay, so as for the intro, I added these three things. I added the distorted synth that's playing at the end, but it's very, very quiet. But now I gotta tell you, it's your turn. You have to finish one of your riff ideas and take it to the whole goddamn thing. You need to do it. Go and right after watching this video till the end do it finish one of your riffs and turn it into a full song you're not gonna regret it even if it doesn't sound great you're not gonna regret it you're gonna only get better and better each time now we will listen to this whole goddamn full track and you are gonna tell me what do you think sounds absolutely trash, what do you think I should have done different and stuff like that. I will be so glad for each and every single one of those comments. Let's hear it.
You liked this video, didn't you? Then make sure to hit the like button and also watch this video because you're gonna enjoy it also. Thanks and I'll see you then. Goodbye.